This organization has been around since World War I, and um, there were just mothers of children who wanted to do things for the troops that were serving, and they got together, and the organization was actually chartered, and um, then we became the Blue Star Mothers of America, which is a national organization. So I guess it started all around about 1942, and in the 1960s then, it became a national organization. That's fantastic. And y'all have been going strong since then, and obviously with um, recessions or pandemics or other things going on in the world, um, a lot of times uh, donations become uh, scarce. And so what has been, how has COVID-19 really impacted your organization during this time? Well, just like with everyone, we've been under restrictions and um, with uh, May being Military Appreciation Month, normally we would be out visiting and doing events every single weekend, which would give us, you know, opportunity for donations and just awareness so that later on, you know, we could also get support with donations. And it's, it's just, you know, we're not out there like we used to be. And um, we've suffered from that, you know, a little bit. And in a moment, we can get to ways that we can all get involved, Gwen. But I understand that in addition to games, snacks, toiletries, when you're sending them this, this box of love, Girl Scout cookies seem to be a very popular item. Of course, um, they're all American and um, they remind us of our childhoods and they're just absolutely delicious. So at the beginning of this pandemic, before things really started to pick up, we um, we work a lot with the Girl Scouts. They'll collect the boxes of cookies for us and then they transfer them to us and we will wrap them and send them to our troops who are deployed in combat zones. And um, so at the beginning of this pandemic, we had a a bunch of cases donated to us and we were able to wrap and send around 159 of those cases out to our, our heroes who are overseas serving for us. What is so great is that's going to be one of those boxes that gets opened up and I can tell you they're going to be drooling <laughs> immediately. Yes. I know how they all love those Girl Scout cookies and that is so awesome. How can people help now? I know a lot of times you have these packing parties and things like that that you can't do right now that you alluded to, but how can we help if we're able to donate? Well, so we, we are hopefully gearing up to be able to do more care package parties and, um, you know, sending these packages to our troops. Um, so what people can do right now is we're always accepting donations and we, we like for people to think about things that could be easily carried in a backpack and produce very little trash. So individually wrapped kind of things like fruit cups and granola bars and trail mixes, those kinds of things. Um, you can go to our website and on our website, which is bsmhoustonarea.org. Uh, there is a link to care packages and you'll find everything you need to know there. There'll be the list as well as contact information for the person in our organization who coordinates our care packages so that you can find out how to get these donations to us. Um, we also are always seeking monetary donations. Of course, they help. We spend more than $20,000 a year in postage alone. And um, you can also go to our website for that. And there's a on our homepage a, a link to donate. For that My as well. goodness. Yeah, I can imagine. I was just about to ask. It seems like sending out all of these boxes would result in a pretty high fee. You're also doing something really cool, donating to any family uh, who wishes to honor someone they have actively serving in the military. This is a Blue Star Garden flag. How would mm -hmm. someone uh, get their hands on one of these? Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but this is the actual flag here. And um, again, you can visit our website, bsmhoustonarea.org. And at the bottom, it asks you, it'll tell you how to get one of these uh, flags for free. Now we do appreciate a donation to cover the postage because we you know, are trying to focus most of our funding toward the, the troops and the heroes, you know, get their care packages to them. But we will send you the flag for free. Well, Gwen Geyser, the Blue Star Moms of Houston area chapter, continue to do great work. And um, let's get those donations up and running. And hopefully we can get those packing parties going as well. And by the way, for more information, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Gwen, thank you so much. Thank you. And still ahead on Houston Life, how one